Look at this, in one single view, I can see how my project is doing, what tickets are over burning the time, what tickets are okay, and I can go and address it very, very quickly. I wish Jira would do that out of the box, but it doesn't. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, this is Anatoly. Welcome to Define Agile, where we're talking everything Agile, Agile tools. Today, we're gonna answer the question I'm asked the most by project managers, by CTOs, by directors. They always tell me, Anatoly, we love Jira, but it's very hard for us to see how are we doing. Uh, we cannot see how much time we're spending on certain issues. We cannot say how much budget we already burned. None of this Jira gives us an easy way uh, to see. And I tell them, yes, it is possible, but quite hard. And today we're gonna make it incredibly easy with one of my favorite apps of late. It's called Epic Sum Up. They're sponsoring this video. I reach out to them, ask them if I can view the app. And they graciously allowed me to do that. Thank you them for it. So let me show you, it is very simple and I love it, love it so much. So first of all, I'm gonna show you what we have now. So we have an Epic, um, the Epic called Lean Sales App MVP. So we're building an MVP for um, Lean Sales App, whatever it is. And then we have a bunch of um, tickets, some stories, some tasks to complete it. And if I'm a project manager, I'm going here, all I can see is, okay, so we completed two issues and we are 14% done. And then I need to hover and say, there is four issues in progress. But does it tell me anything as a project manager? Um, how are we completing those issues? If we estimated something is two hours, and are we, are we on time? Are we on track? I don't know. And if I need to report up, there's nothing I can do. I have to go to every issue or have to write some reporting and JQL queries to do that. Well. Epic Sum Up solves it literally just by installing it, which is crazy, but this is true. So I installed the app and here's what I have. I didn't change any settings. They have a lot of settings that you can change, but I just installed it and look what it gives me. So first of all, uh, they have a panel for the Epic right here. I extend the panel and I see, okay. So right now, even though we're 14% done, we spent 40 hours of estimated 45 hours. So let's see right now, again, I see that there is a problem right away. So you can click on that as well. Check this out. At a glance, I can see everything. I can see how much time was originally estimated, 45 hours, how much time is remaining, five hours, how much time we spent already, which is 40 hours. So I can raise this with my team right away and I, you know, we can re-estimate or we can see what's not working. So I can be much, much faster as a project manager, as a product owner, as a director, whoever is looking at that, they can be faster. And if we, if we are fast, then the decisions are made quickly and we can move way, way better. And also it shows you where the problematic areas are. So by every single uh, story, it shows us the original estimate, the time spent. You can also go and change it right here. You can click on it, you can log additional time, you can change everything in this one place. So we can go with the team, we can look at it and we can change things around very, very quickly instead of us going with every single issue. That saves us already so much time and I really, really like it. The other big thing in Jira that annoys a lot of people are subtasks and how subtasks are managed. So a lot of people create story, then they create lots of subtasks, they're putting time towards the subtask and they're putting time towards the main story and it's not accumulated. And then you have a skewed view of reality because subtasks might have 100 hours and stories estimated at 10 hours. And you just don't see that because Jira does not allow you easily to see it. But here we see everything at a glance. We see that together the cumulative is 16 hours and we spent 21 hours. Then we can expand it and we can see, okay, wow. So one of the subtasks, build React container, were originally estimated as five hours and we spent 10 hours on this task. So we can go and say, okay guys, uh, we are blocked by this or what is happening? What is not working? Do you need any help? Maybe we need to uh, have a different strategy for this React containers. What is happening there? Why are we late on this? So we can address it very, very quickly. We can also easily see what was not estimated because sometimes the numbers are skewed because things were not estimated. So we can go and say, okay, guys, maybe in a sprint planning or retrospective, we see, look, we edit a story, there's no estimation. So you can go 
and you can um, add it right here, or you can just click on it and add some time. You can add an estimate. You can change them around, so you can easily. Everything is so easily clickable in one place. And for somebody who is busy, like a project manager or director, they need it at a glance. What is more important, some of them even don't have access to Jira. Some of them are like, what's Jira? I have no idea. But I would like to see how are we doing on this project. Well, the good news is that you can easily export all of this into CSV, into Excel, into an attachment. We can put it as a comment. We can do issue navigator if you're, let's say, a Scrum Master or product owner and you want to see an issue navigator. It can all be done right from here. Very, very easily. Everything is customizable. You can add columns if you want. You can expand them. You can change everything here. So it's very, very easy to use. But most importantly, it gives you the view that you require. If you want to have a budget, you can add a custom field for a budget and it will calculate budget as well. So it gives project managers, directors, and leadership things that they were looking for so long. That's why they have this resentment toward Jira because sometimes Jira does not allow them to see what they need to see to make decisions. And this allows us to, to do it. That's why I'm so, so excited about this. And uh, the panel itself is also very easily um, adjusted. You can click on the settings, you can click customize settings, and you can put story points, you can add your custom fields, you can do anything with this, you can delete things you don't like, so it's very, very easy. The other thing for somebody who is a developer, for example, um, a lot of times there's a lot of, lot of tickets and then you need to find something. Let's say there's a comment in one of these issues, and let's say there's hundreds of them that talks about certain access that you need to get. And often you have to go for every single one from hundreds of comments to try to find it. And this takes so much time and it's so annoying. Well, they solve it very, very easily. There is a cumulative number of comments across all the issues here, subtasks, tasks, everything. I can click on it. And guess what? It shows me all of those comments and I can search as well. So if I need to get an access, I just click access and it can search and I can find it right away. I can go there and I can see it very, very easy. Same with attachments. Sometimes people have thousands of attachments across their projects, across their epics, and you try to find one thing. Let's say you're a designer. You need to find this um, designed for certain login page and then you have 15 tickets about the login and you forgot where it is you go to attachments and you can easily easily find it and you can find it by name you can find it by anything you want and it gives you the whole list of the attachments which is very cool it solves the real problems for people who need to act fast this one panel solves more than i could even imagine and for me for example for the teams i work with this is such a lifesaver. It shows you everything you need, even the subcategory. So it shows you in a way better design than here, where you need to go everywhere. What's in uh, to do, what's in done, what's in progress. You can click on it and it shows you resolution. It shows the status category. You can go to each of it. So you can also see that very, very easily. It works with different hierarchies. So if you have a different hierarchy, it works with it as well. So it is very easy to use. And of course, for some people, they don't even like to go into epics. There's also us who have dashboards and are dashboard geeks. They have um, an amazing widget for a dashboard as well. Let me show you that. Here we are. So at the bird's eye view, you can see what epics are doing well, what epics are not doing well, what epics are not started. You can do the same with the projects because uh, it actually works with a JQL, so you can put anything you want there and get a very easy view, how are we doing, which is gold. For people who need to make decisions, this is probably one of the most important things uh, that they can look at. And I like how simple it is. I like that it gives you, um, at a glance, everything you need. So epic sum up. I leave a link in the description down below. If you want to set it up, it's very, very easy. I'm going to show you very quickly. You go to apps, you go to explore more apps. You, you just type Epic Sum Up. And here it is, Epic Sum Up, Lean Project Management. So yes, it's right, right here. Please check it out. There's a lot of big companies that are using it and they will work in it for a very long time. They solve real problems. About 2,000 installs for this one. So I highly, highly recommend, again, 
a link in the description down below. I want to thank their team for sponsoring this video and um, thank you for watching. I'll see you next one. Bye-bye.